Hey guys, Tony George, DocSports.com, Saturday update. Not one, not two, not three, not four, but five leans, and I'll give you an official free play here in college basketball. On Saturday morning, our card will be released early, 10.30 a.m. Central Standard Time, and 11 a.m., two games tip off. Come on, we're going to flat bet this five plays right down the board, three units each. We've picked up nine units the last two days in college basketball, what we needed. At Davidson last night, I drank the Kool-Aid went on the public side. We always talk about sharp and square and, and uh, pros versus Joes, but sometimes the Joes are right. That line was right for the fall, and they got it done big time. Rhode Island's offense stinks, so... Anyway, we got it done there. This card we have today is dialed in, Vegas Sharp action. Uh, myself, my Vegas Sharp, and also uh, an ex-odds uh, maker here in town who's on my staff. Got a great card today. Going to flat bet them three units each right down the board. NBA, uh, quickly. Last night we lost on the Detroit Pistons, laid three and a half, and they won by three. They actually went to four and a half later in the day. Um, passed on the Clippers too, which pisses me off, but I loved them both. But you got the free winner last night in the under in the uh, Dallas Denver game. There we go, get back on track. Uh, nonetheless, we will bounce back. Bear in mind, we have not had a back to back, we've only had two back to back losing cards in the NBA since December 28th of 2018. You can expect a solid bounce back day. Couldn't possibly have two games here. On a six unit, a four and a two unit play. We're still looking at that card. It'll be out about 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. Also, those of you that love NASCAR, a lot of you are wagering NASCAR. Um, I'm a big fan of NASCAR. Uh, one of my uh, friends is J.J. Ailey. Uh, you've seen a lot of pictures with me on with him in social media. He's a friend of mine. Um, look for a sponsor for the Vegas race too. Number seven monster uh, uh, monster energy cup car. Um, he's running, but you know anybody out there, I, mean, I hook you up. JJ's a buddy of mine. Nonetheless, a friend of mine in the business for years has been doing this NASCAR handicapping and you know, cash and tickets, big time, well over sixty percent last year in his head-to-head -head matchups on the money line. Never lays over one fifty. Um, just an unbelievable guy follows this sport and knows every guy on every pit crew. And I mean, this guy's unbelievable, you know, attends a lot of races, you know, follows it intently during the week, qualifying, always got some sources. We're going to start putting out NASCAR picks on Saturday or Sunday on race days. Um, look for the updates on the website. We've got a whole section about it and, um, we'll start this weekend with the Atlanta race. Okay. We, Passed on Daytona because, like, you know, neither one of us are big fans of restrictor plate racing because anybody can win. But the two picks he had, he, he won them both. Include, somehow they survived the big wrecks and this, that, and the other. So, nonetheless, if you like NASCAR, they will be up starting tomorrow for the race. And we'll talk more about that as, as the race season goes along. Um, let's get over to your free plays today. My official free play, I'm going to run these down. These are games that we had circled that we handicapped and we thought they all had some line value. Um, however, I'm going to just go ahead and throw out some opinions. My official free play is going to be Purdue all over my beloved Nebraska Cornhuskers. Purdue laying five on this one in Lincoln. Okay. You saw what happened to Nebraska against Penn State. What do you think Edwards and those guys are going to do to them? Kill them. That's your official free play. I think in games like at 2 Eastern. So get on uh, Purdue here. That's your main free play. Here's the games we passed on. Kind of like Syracuse plus the five against Duke. I don't know how Duke's going to react with a very young team without their star in there. And you would think that Syracuse, you know, might have looked ahead in that Louisville game. No, they held them to 49 and spanked the dog piss out of them. Bayheim sent a message down to Krzyzewski. Guess what? We're not looking past waiting for you. Thought that was a lot of points on the road for Duke. And bear in mind, Syracuse went in and gave them a woodshed beating down in Cameron Indoor. Georgia State was another one uh, against uh, Coastal Carolina. They're laying a point. That was one. Underdog, kind of an upset underdog here. San Diego plus two tonight against St. Mary's. That was another one. 
also one more in the Big 12 that we passed on that we really liked. And everybody wants – I had a couple of comments yesterday. What do you think about Kansas-Texas Tech? I could only take Texas Tech in that game. I don't think – shut down Lawson. I don't know what Kansas is going to do. Um, but one game that a, a team that doesn't pass the eye test here, and I think there's some value too, is uh, Iowa State uh, minus one and a half. Um, they suffered a 92-83 loss uh, to TCU. Since that game, TCU's dropped three straight. They're two and five their last seven, one and six against the spread their last seven. Uh, Iowa State's last five road games uh, at Kansas State, one by 17. They beat Oklahoma by one. Oklahoma, one of the best spread teams in the country. Uh, they beat Ole Miss by 14. They lost at four at Kansas. Who doesn't? And uh, they beat Texas Tech by four. Those are road games. You know, they're off a bad loss at home against Baylor. I like Iowa State laying a point and a half, too. Your official free play. Again, Purdue minus five. The rest of these, just a couple of guys or gals standing around a fence post drinking a beer, shooting the shit about basketball. Again, Syracuse, Georgia State, San Diego, Purdue, your official free play. A little lean on Iowa State, too. Have some fun with those. Little tiny wagers, flat bet them right down the board. Have some fun. But we'll go ahead and bank that official free play on Purdue today. Get over to Doc's early card and look for a huge bounce back in the NBA today, as always. And tomorrow we're going to have some NASCAR. We'll have an update for you then. Have a great Saturday. Get after it.